What I often say is that I'm running for one reason and one reason only, and that's to shake up and transform the political system so that our government works for regular people and not just a wealthy and well-connected and privileged few. One of the ways that our government needs to work to, uh, for, for regular people is to change the, the, the unjust and ineffective drug laws that we have in our country. And uh, starting right here in Wisconsin, we, you, the war on drugs has been a driving force behind mass incarceration. It's one of the, the big reasons why more of our state budget goes to imprison people than, to, than for higher education. Those priorities need to be flipped. But in order to flip those priorities, we need to fully legalize marijuana. And we need to, to get away from the policies that drive mass incarceration. So I am for the full legalization of marijuana. And when I say that, I mean not just for medicinal purposes, but, but medicinal as well as recreational use and, the, and for agricultural purposes, the, the in, in production of industrial hemp. This is, this is something that, that I, I think the people are way out ahead of the politicians. The time has come for, for some leadership on this uh, in the political arena. That's one of the big reasons why I'm running for governor. We're good, friendly politicians. And, and then you both, Mayor. okay, you're running as a libertarian, you're running as a Democrat. I, I think this is a good expression of uh, free and open debate, you say? But with, uh, on an issue that we agree on, though. Right? Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna see eye to eye on everything, oh, but no, yeah. but on this, the the war on drugs has been a miserable failure, and, and uh, it's it's driving mass incarceration. It's driving exactly. Oh, this is just the first step in a process of criminal justice reform that includes getting rid of mandatory minimum sentencing, jury nullification, uh, uh, pardoning, expunging records, and, uh, and and people having the right to vote. Yep. before they're off paper. Absolutely. We're, Absolutely. we're in complete agreement on this. If either one of us were elected governor, um, if it had to not be me, I'd prefer that it be Mike, for, the, <laughs> for these reasons, actually, because he see, we see eye to eye on a lot of things involving corruption and money in politics. We disagree on economics quite drastically, I, I believe. But, uh, but on, on these issues, on, on issues of, of people being represented and people's liberties and freedoms being uh, protected, uh, we agree wholeheartedly, especially in this process that we're looking at. Absolutely. Absolutely. You couldn't have said it better yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well said, my friend. Yeah. One more question. All right. Do you think it's time for Wisconsin to have a new governor? I think we've, neither one of us would be running if we didn't think that. Absolutely. You, you know, our state is becoming a shadow of its former self. It is. And I, I look at Wisconsin and, and sometimes have a hard time recognizing it as the place where I grew up. Same so here. much has changed about our Same political here. culture. So much has, has changed about our state. And uh, and that's because of a, a lack of leadership. Exactly. There's so much fighting, division, identity politics, yep. dirty money, all of this stuff at play. And what, what we want to do is just unleash the power and the creativity and, and, and everything that Wisconsinites have to offer to each other and to the economy in a way that, that makes Wisconsin blossom without, without having to have corrupt politics involved in that. Absolutely. Again, well said, my friend. <laughs>